log recording, 3.30 in the, uh, yeah, 3.30 in the freaking morning, Saturday, the 11th of May, 2024. Why the hell am I up here in the curve in the morning? Uh, I was trying to explain in an earlier video what the hell was going on. Somehow the alarm system, the master alarm system for the fire alarms got triggered again. Had to be a freaking pain in the ass, I swear to God. But they're supposed to be necessary, right? They're supposed to be necessary. And we're, we're supposed to have these kind of weird-ass auroras happening because of a lot of uh, electromagnetic energy coming from the sun. The solar flares dance around our own magnetosphere and cause these nice uh, light shows. Me, I'm thinking... I don't need the damn light shows. I'm worried more about the damn electronics going on and off. Every time I keep going on the uh, YouTube channels, or even the other channels, we're talking about um, how wonderful it is to see these auroras coming down, even down this pipeline over here. I mean, we can see them over here. Well, in the Northern Hemisphere, yeah, Canada, they can see it pretty damn well in portions of the United States. And I keep thinking to myself, you idiots... We've got electronics we depend upon solely for our own existence here. We depended upon for communications. We depended upon for everything else. We got tons of satellites up there, not to mention having an international space station. <laughs> We've had a massive, uh, we had massive coronal ejections happening, and hopefully the Earth's magnetosphere can protect. The ISS from any issues with those astronauts getting fried with solar energy. Granted, the space station needs these solar batteries. You know, I just hope it's still there in one piece. But that's ju just not it. We, as I said before, depended upon satellite technology. We depended upon electronics that we keep shoving up in the sky. I'm not quite sure how much more electronic crap we can throw in the orbits over there. If anybody was trying to get into Earth's, Earth, Earth's orbit from anywhere else, they'd have a hard time trying to get through the damn debris the field we have up there. I'm surprised we haven't even seen it through the sky. So, again, we've launched another series of Starlink satellites. For people who don't have internet capabilities, we have these damn things scattered about in the uh, lower atmosphere. Laura gets, the worst it's going to get. Sky's falling, and Chicken Little's going to be screaming his head out this morning saying, the Sky is falling. Yeah, I'm having a good morning this morning. I was having that damn fire alarm going off. I was expressing my uh, deep concerns about it this morning. That's why I got up. Did the video before this one here because I was getting sick and tired of shit. It was bad enough years ago. But in the last, I don't know, several years living in this place, summertime would hit, and then the teenagers would go crazy. And once in a great while, we'd hear the damn fire alarms and drive everybody crazy, not to mention the local fire department at this point. To which this time the fire department didn't come because management was on 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 premise. Turned the damn thing off. We all go back to bed, right? Hardly anybody got out of bed this morning, except me. It's not a firm believer in the damn alarm system. Is trying to figure out if the damn thing was legitimate or not. One of these here days, one of these here days, that damn thing is going to be pulled, and there's going to be, actually be a legitimate reason for it. Till that time, everyone else is fucking around with it, or or somebody else is messing around with damn electronics, or something's going on. I don't know what the hell's going on. That's the thing that usually drove me crazy this morning about it, and every time the damn thing's going off left and right, either a technical glitch, what it's supposed to have been solved already or not. But if it's going to be related to the damn solar storm, then I'm going to be p very pissed off about it. Uh, because karma and fate's got to think for me. Yesterday was not a good day. As some of you guys already saw in the videos, it wasn't a very good day for me. Let me 
several hours ago, actually, 12 or more of that, I lost track. Something would trigger a massive, I mean a massive, it's like the sun spewing out of its radiation, I'm spewing out a hell of a lot of grieving, crying, and God knows what else is going on. So yeah, you're talking about almost for me blowing myself up. Almost. Emotionally, I feel like I took every damn roller coaster I've been on emotionally and just turned the damn thing into scrap heap and rivets and, and girders and stuff like that. I was just out of it yesterday. My dog was feeling it too. God, she was ready to get off of me like crazy. So, before I went to bed, almost like an hour before I'm going to bed, She's got a pent-up energy, freaked out, and she's running around all over the damn place. And I kept running and running and running. It's like she got the Energizer buddy and tried to kill her. She scares the hell out of me, my dog. She's got so much life and left in her body. Her body's feeling her, but her spirit's saying, I want to get the hell out of this damn body. So I'll run it to death. She's sleeping right now. Yes, I checked on her. She's alive. It was not a good day yesterday, and I'm not quite sure how today's starting out to be. I mean, attitude actually has a way of changing things, making the day look brighter, or the day looks like a miserable, sorry son of a sea dog. But, that being said, politics being politics these days, I'm saying I'm not even touching that damn thing with a 10-foot pole. The only thing I'm touching right now is going to be a bed pretty shortly after I do these these crank calls of mine on the YouTube here. How am I dealing emotionally right now? I'm still sleep deprived. Emotionally, I am still dead to myself. Physically, you're still seeing a zombie here. Not alive, not awake, and definitely not here. <sighs> Until I have more coffee. Actually, this is tea. Chamomile. From last night, I had it in the cup all night and just covered it and just drinking cold tea. But that's all right. I'll deal with it. What I'm not dealing with this morning is getting up this early in the morning and asking myself, what the hell am I doing up right now except belly aching? <laughs> that shows people I'm still alive, I guess. It shows me I'm still alive. That You call it that, being alive. I was having nice dreams, too. And maybe somewhere in there I was trying to meet my family in there just to be with them again. And yesterday, yeah, it was getting to me. So if we're going to be opening up that can of worms at this point. A diary of the griever named John Weaver, which is me. A little late for the damn title, don't you think? But I was feeling it yesterday. If my therapist and a certain priest had been watching this damn thing, Maybe they would have been asking questions how the hell I was really doing. Or maybe even this morning here, if I'm still alive and still awake and still kicking. Kicking me in the back of the foot? Nope. But, uh, I was a real mess yesterday. I was trying to write, I was trying to get videos out, but I couldn't get them out because of the internet connections and stuff happening. And then I heard that there was a fire somewhere uh, right by Spectrum itself. That we have a satellite office that does all the uh, mechan uh, the boxes, repairs. We have satellite uh, station out there. So if there was a fire out there messing around with the equipment, and all in love, the whole AV would be affected by this. But that's the thing I had noticed on the television. Nobody bothered to say anything concerning my cable out again. <laughs> that's the thing I kept noticing half the time. No, not half the time, but I've noticed it all the time. That every time cable goes out, nobody mentions a word about it except on social media, where everyone else is griping and grumbling. Get satellite, get satellite, get Roku, get this, get that, get this, get that. Roku doesn't work, unless I got a working television for the damn thing. 
I got a computer. I got a computer, but I still need the internet access for the damn thing. So I should be ordering the computer access through Spectrum, huh? And just get rid of the damn cable box. They can have the damn cable box. I can send it back to them if I want to. Get me a box, put it in there, pack it up. So here you go, Spectrum. Have fun. <sighs> so I gotta pay for that shit. Bad enough a deal with the Roach War. It's still on a constant basis. Oregon has been over here in about four or five weeks. So I have depended upon myself and the limited funds I've got to get traps necessary to beat these sons of bitches. Yeah, losing war. The spraying is what usually kept them, some of them in bay, but now they're peripherating. They're expanding their operations. I can give you more glue traps and more of those box traps. Put them all over the damn place. Oh, I'm going to layer this place up like crazy. They're not going to like me. Good. I don't like me either. <laughs> How am I doing this morning? I'm morning. I'm griping. I'm here. I'm, I'm here.